you know, 21 years old, sitting quietly alone in the attic of Chitre Monastery. I had no idea at the time at all that my visionary experiences with the goddess were extraordinary or rare. Uh, who knew? I'm a total beginner. I just thought, okay, you meditate, man. Well, this is what happens. Uh, mission accomplished. Uh, time to move on. Make a break for it, uh, for Kathmandu, before the monsoon kicks in. But beginning in 2005, when the goddess gave her books, the first edition of There Are No Foreign People, to specific humans using my body <laughs> as her distribution agent, I gave 1,400 of her books to 1,400 different human beings. She said, give a book to that person. And never charge. You know, that would short circuit anything. And, uh, often my royalties would be a hug from another human being with their heart open all the way. That's for a spark of the goddess. Enter their heart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got pers I got a higher perspective uh, giving her book out because I got reactions like. Uh, Hey, look, I have been meditating for 30 years, okay? And no sexy goddess ever invited me to the source of creation and destruction. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, so, slowly, during the last 50 years, um, I have become aware that I was graced by a series of divine, other dimensional, other cosmic levels of visions, uh, and an interconnectedness, absolute union with the universe. In fact, I swallowed it. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. And that my meditations, my unio mystico states, were worthy of any meditator from any age. Yeah. Uh, my visions of the goddess and the five interrelating spheres were absolutely drug free revelations generated by simply setting, sitting in a benign Tibetan force field. I was graced. Mm -hmm. yeah.